Morning guys, we're uh, just coming back from a camping trip, me and the lovely wife over there, who's walking Toby right now. Um, and uh, when we were camping, it made me think about um, some upgrades that we did to the van and uh, didn't make a video. So I figured I'd show you guys. It's kind of a, uh, an upgrade that I've been procrastinating about forever. Um, finally put some cheap, a cheap solar system on there. Solar panels, cheap solar, whatever you want to call it. Some solar panels to charge the batteries. So uh, we went, um, uh, first of all, I procrastinated for a long time because I didn't want to make a hole in the roof of the van. But uh, I realized that, you know, I was really, I was missing out on that, on that extra power and uh, constantly dealing with charging batteries um, uh, or running the vehicle to charge the batteries. So I picked up a cheap set. I actually found a new kit on uh, Marketplace and um, decided to buy it and uh, just give it a shot. It was, it was real simple uh, to install and um, so I'm just gonna, I'll show you guys what I did here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, it's a 200 uh, watt system. It's just two small panels. And uh, I, uh, I mounted them to that uh, luggage rack. It wasn't being used. Uh, my plan was to make a large rack for the flatter top side of the van. And uh, this was, you know, quick and easy, and I didn't really uh, modify the van. A whole, I didn't modify the van a whole lot to install it, so it worked out really well. Uh, that's the gland that I put on. Um, that's uh, nice and nice and clean. So if you're putting a, a system in, you're gonna you're gonna want to get one of these. Um, it assures that you're not gonna have a leak up there of any type. And, uh, so yeah, it worked out really well. It's a small system but uh, it, it seems to be powering up uh, what we need with no problem. So I um, thought I'd share that with you guys. And, you know, super cheap. So, you know, it wasn't a lot of money invested in this. Uh, I think that kit on Amazon is about $250 Canadian. And uh, we picked it up for $200 on Marketplace, somebody that bought it for their camper. And uh, he's probably a subscriber now, to be honest with you, because we, I shared the van with him a little bit when I was picking it up. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys the charge controller and uh, the way that I, that I sort of set it up in here. It's um, very, very simple. It's called Eco-Worthy is the system that I ended up buying. And uh, you basically have the two wires that go to your batteries and two wires that go to your panel. That's it. That's as simple as that. So anybody who can read uh, four, uh, four or five um, steps of instructions would be able to install the system. Very, very simple. Very cost effective uh, little system. And uh, for a couple hundred bucks, you really can't go wrong. And uh, we've been... Um, we're at 14.2 volts and those panels keep my two six volt uh, 220 amp hour batteries. Uh, those are wet batteries for now. I am upgrading to lithium very soon, but that's what I've been, been using the last couple of years. They do the job, but I do want to upgrade to, to lithium in a 200 amp hour so we can just have that little bit more juice. But right now we tested it uh, over the weekend and we're able to run the fridge and the diesel heater no problem whatsoever charging several different devices as you can see here lights and phones and um, you know all kinds of paraphernalia no problem whatsoever so quite happy with it $200 uh, and um, it's very simple to install you drill one hole in the roof if you don't want to drill a hole in your roof, you could maybe even sneak the wires in through one of your side doors or windows for now, if you don't feel comfortable doing that. But uh, but it was it was very very simple to do. I'll show you guys where I ran my wires. Um, we have these 
little storage compartments. And so I noticed that the roof, you can see right there, uh, hopefully you can see that, the wires come right through. And those are the screws from my, the gland that I put up on the roof. I'll probably cut those off, but I snuck the wires down inside that column right there, down to the bottom, and then ran a, uh, well, it's back there, but um, some uh, loom, wiring loom, automotive wiring loom, and uh, ran that, ran the loom inside that cupboard. Um, very, very worth it for anybody who's just starting out. The other thing I suggest, if you're get, getting into this fairly seriously, I would, uh, I've bought several different uh, types of batteries. These are six volt golf cart batteries wired in series. My plan was to get two more six volt batteries, wire them in series, and then wire the two sets together in parallel to make uh, a bigger storage uh, bank. But I'm not real happy with these wet batteries. You can see this one's been sort of boiling over or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much since I got them. I don't know why, but um, the only thing is with the, the cold weathers we have here in Canada and the type of camping we do throughout the winter, um, you need, uh, you can't have lithium because we're going out in minus 30 Celsius weather and lithium can't handle that kind of cold weather. So these are going to become my winter batteries and I'm going to get a lithium 200 amp hour for the summer or the warmer months um, and then just switch them out come the end of the season. So that's pretty much it. Very simple setup and uh, I would uh, recommend it to everybody. And don't mess around with buying these batteries. Get some lithiums right from the start, especially if you're living in warmer climates or planning on just camping throughout the warmer months. Uh, for sure, something I would do. The other thing we did was picked up this Bouge RV um, 32 liter fridge, I think is what they call it. I can't remember now. But uh, another thing that was you know, about $300 and uh, it's not very big. I'll be 100% honest with you. It's, it's pretty small, but um, I don't know if that'll give you some specs on it in the model number there, but uh, it's pretty small. Like here, here's, here's for reference, there's my hand going, you know, that's about how big it is. But I figure that we can cram it with um, our food, meat, whatever, and then uh, we'll likely pack a cooler for beverages. We, we always do that anyways, because we can pull it out of the van, sit it next to the van, and you know, you're sitting by the fire, you can grab a cold one and not have to dig inside uh, the van every time you need one. So, uh, but good, good investment, works really well. And aside of the diesel heater, with that little uh, solar uh, setup, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Um, it was, uh, it was worth the, the investment and, uh, we got lovely wifey poo here babysitting Toby the dog. So he doesn't bark at us while I'm trying to film this. Where's Toby? Let's see if we can go. There he is. There's the wifey poo. Hi wifey. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, think it was uh, definitely worth it and uh, so if you're setting up a van $200 and you've got uh, a basic solar charging system for your van so don't be scared of doing it we're just out here walking Toby a little bit it's a nice day here in Canada it's like uh, about uh, 12 degrees Celsius I believe you guys like this type of video there you can go back into my other videos there's all kinds of different upgrades we've done to this uh, 86 GMC Vandera including an LS swap under there so go check out the other videos there's a whole bunch of them there so that's it man thanks for watching and uh, don't forget if you're setting up a van get yourself some solar panels uh, you, you need them if you want to do this fairly seriously and uh, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I kind of like the location that they're in there now. I didn't, 
I didn't want to use up that space for in case I wanted to build like a some kind of rack for up there to store other stuff, right? But uh, I keep procrastinating, but it's done with and I'm very happy. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one.